Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can deploy a Django application on Railway using your Django's Docker image. So let's just begin. So first of all, head up to your Railway uh, official website which is railway.com and create an account on Railway using GitHub, Google or email. So for this, you can just click on the login button right here and you can create an account using hit GitHub or Google account or just your uh, simple email. Also, after you have created your railway account, you will be redirected to the railway dashboard, which would look something like this. And now we can uh, create our application service for a Django application. So I'll just show you where I have stored my Docker image for my Django application. So I have stored it on my Docker Hubs account, which is named as path 2 k 3 slash Django. Path 2 k 3 is the username and Django is the repository name for our Docker image. All right, so we are going to deploy this Docker image. If you do not know how to create a, do a Docker image for a Django application, you can refer to our previous videos where we have taught you how you can create a Docker image for a Django application, as well as how you can take a pull and how you can push your Docker image to Docker Hub and also run a Docker container on your local system. All right, perfect. So after you have successfully built your Docker image for your Django application, we can now create a service inside Railway to host this application for us. All right, so this is a very simple process. I think we will be clicking the screen almost just two to three times and our application will be live. So let's begin. So first of all, click on create a new project and now create an empty project right here. So we'll let this empty project being created and now we can click on add a service uh, option right here. So we need to add a service right here and you can see the option for Docker image right here. Click on Docker image and now you'll be prompted to enter your uh, Docker images repository link so i'll just enter the username which is path wiki 3 slash django so this is basically my username slash repository which this is the format in which you need to enter your uh, docker image name so i'll just click on enter press the enter button and this will detect our repository right here perfect so it has detected our repository inside a docker hub account and this has prompted us to say something like apply three changes so they, this has detected some changes and if we click on details it has directed uh, some changes like Django will be added and image will be created right here and also the runtime environment will be created perfect so that's all we want and now just click on deploy and that's it i think your works have, your work has been done the application will deploy on its own if the application or if the image is obviously deployable uh, and if you do not know how to create a deployable image you can again refer to our previous videos where i have taught you how to build an image for a, a Django application. All right, so uh, let's just wait for a Django application to get deployed right here, and then I'll show you the further step. We just have to click on one more button, and our application will be publicly accessible again. All right, so as you can see, our service is now currently active and it has taken around 83 seconds to deploy the application via Docker. And our service is currently active, so we are now ready to access it using our public IP address. So first of all, I'll just show you what, are, what the logs of this application says. This says that listening at the localhost 8000 port, which is perfect. So now we can actually build a domain for this uh, Django application, Django service. So for this, just click on the Django service right here and now click on settings. Now go down and you'll see something like public tent workings. So just click on generate domain and this will generate a domain in a few seconds for you to access this application on your browser. Perfect. So it has uh, given a domain for us, which is a public URL. So now if I go to this URL inside my browser, I should be able to access my Django application through it. All right. So let's test it out. And perfect, so this was actually the Django applications template, which is the default template uh, it present inside the Docker image of that application. So it, and it has successfully deployed being a guest. And it has successfully deployed on 
uh, railway. So that's how simple it was to deploy the application by, I think we have just clicked it around two to three times and the application got deployed. That's how smart railway is. And also you get $5 of free, free credits, which is enough uh, for your static website or a low traffic website to last forever, almost forever. So this is essentially uh, free for lifetime for your application. So now that's how we can actually deploy a Django application on railway. And that's how you can use a, uh, you can use a Docker image to deploy something on railway. And I think we have learned it and and I think that's it for the video. So thanks for watching.